Hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you're coming from my first lesson on creating a simple budget, welcome back and thanks for coming back. If you are here for the first time, just to give you a little update to get you caught up, uh, we're creating a very, very simple budget uh, for people who are new to budgeting and, and brand new to Excel. Uh, what we did on the last video is we just started listing our monthly income. In this video, we're gonna start to do the same thing, but for our monthly expenses. So don't wanna waste too much time. Let's jump right into it. Okay, so in our first video, we started the process of creating a budget. And the first step that we did was to list all of our monthly income, which I've got laid out here. Um, now that we've done that, we want to get a good idea of all of our monthly expenses as well. So it's basically going to be the same process um, in terms of laying it out all in Excel. Uh, just instead of looking at our income and getting uh, an idea of, of everything that we have that we're receiving, uh, we're just going to start listing our expenses, everything that's leaving our pockets. So again, like before, we're just going to come here. I'm going to go two cells down below the total for monthly income. I'm going to be in cell B8, and I'm just going to type monthly expenses and enter. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to click and drag and highlight those two cells, come up here to Merge and Center, click that, and just come on over here to the left to that large B there for bold, and just give that a bold font, and then Enter. Okay, so the largest expense that you have is probably going to be either your mortgage or your rent. So for this example, I'm just going to type rent. And... We're gonna assume here that your rent is $1,500. So 1,500, again, we're just tabbing over to the next, uh, next column. And we'll come down below rent and list our next expense. So let's just say utilities and then tab. And let's just assume utilities are $400. And now being in the 21st century, pretty much everybody has an internet expense. So I'm just going to type that here. Some people include that with utilities, I don't. Um, it's really up to you, but we just wanna make sure we keep track of it. So internet, and we'll just say that's $150 a month. And we'll list, maybe you have a car payment. So car payment, tab over. And 250. I'm just going to assume a car payment of $250 and then enter. And okay, so we see the car payment has been cut off here. Um, we want to fix that. So the trick for this, if you come up here to the columns uh, between B and C, right in the middle, you'll notice your cursor starts to change. Um, if you hover your cursor to where it changes to look like that, what you can do is double click and it'll automatically fit that cell. So it'll expand to exactly where um, the end of the word payment uh, falls and it aligns exactly with the width of the text. I personally like to just click and drag and just give it a little bit more room here. Um, but again, it's, it's up to you. Uh, you just excel how you want to use it. I want you to get in the habit of, of using Excel as something that, that you can look at as kind of like an art painting. You know, you just kind of just go at it and design it and, and crunch the numbers however you want. This is just gonna kind of lay out um, a good starting point for you. Um, but okay, so next expense, um, I'm gonna assume maybe a gym membership. It's gonna type gym and then tab over. And we'll assume $50. Again, I'm just using easy numbers here as an example. And of course, you've got to feed yourself. So we can type food, tab. And depending on if you have kids, if you're married with kids, if you go out to eat a lot, um, it's going to depend, you know, it's going to vary from person to person. For this example, I'm just going to type $600 and then enter. 
and uh, there's going to be a lot of other expenses that some people have, other people don't. I'm not going to try to get too nitpicky here on, on trying to think of every possible expense that you uh, could have. So what I'm going to do is just type other, and then I'm just going to s assume $200. Okay, so we've got our expenses listed. Again, if you have other expenses and you're doing this, feel free to list those. Um, again, this is just kind of a, a general uh, overview of how I, it's how you can do this simply in Excel for yourself. Um, but now we're just going to, again, do the same thing we did with monthly income. We're going to type total, tab over. And I'm just a little bit OCD, so I'm going to go ahead and, and add that underline here. And perfect. So. If you remember, uh, we don't want to add these up with a calculator and then type it in manually here. We want to use that sum function. So again, we're going to type equals and then sum, and you can either click on it or you can just click tab. And then we're just going to highlight the first expense and then click, hold, and drag all the way down to our last expense. Close our brackets and hit enter. And that's going to give us the total monthly expenses uh, for uh, a particular month. And so now that we've got both our monthly income and monthly expenses, we want to get an idea of how much money we have left over. So just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to call it savings. So savings. And again, I'm just, again, skipping two, two rows here, coming down and entering that here. And this is going to be a little bit different from the sum feature. We're going to still use Excel's functions, but we're going to use a different function than the sum function that we've been using. We're actually going to kind of create our own custom formula, and I'll show you how to do that here. We're still going to uh, start with the equal sign, so equals. And then we'll just come up to monthly income, and we're just going to click total. And that's going to be in cell C5. And then we're going to select or click the minus sign on our keyboard. And we're going to click total under monthly expenses. And then all we need to do is hit enter. And we have in this example, $1,850 left over uh, after taking into account all of our income and all of our expenses. Uh, this is what we have to work with. Um, now again, the beauty of the sum feature, the beauty of the Excel functions is that anytime you change these numbers, it's gonna automatically update here and here. Or if you're changing something in the monthly income, again, say you get a raise, these numbers are always gonna update. That's why we don't wanna type them in manually because it's too easy to forget to go back and recalculate something. Excel's gonna take care of that for us. We always wanna utilize that. Um, so just definitely get in the habit when you're practicing of using those Excel functions. So, okay. Um, what did I do here? I'm just going to make this back to 400. Okay. So now that we have our monthly expenses and our monthly income uh, laid out in front of us, we have an idea of our savings and I'm just going to bold this here because this is what we know we're working with. And just last thing I want to do uh, is I just want to actually convert these numbers to dollars. So there's a little trick to that. Uh, what I want you to do, again, if you're following along with me, is go ahead and click here. Click and hold. Um, select Control on your keyboard. I'm sorry, you should select Control first and then click and hold and then drag down to these three numbers. Maybe. What's going on? There we go. So we actually, I'm sorry, you want to click and then press control. So click, control, drag down. And we're just going to do this just for the monthly income. And then come up here and we're going to uh, click on this dollar sign. That's going to convert all of these numbers to dollars. So that's going to make it easier, or not easier, but it's just going to make it more professional looking. And if you want, again, I'm just a uh, pet peeve about this. I'm just going to give myself a little bit more room here. I'm going to drag column C, make it a little bit wider. And again, we do the same thing here for monthly expenses. We're just going to uh, click and then select control on our keyboard. 
drag all the way down and then come up here to dollar sign boom it's going to do the same thing and of course we want to do it for savings you don't have to click control because we're not selecting multiple cells uh, we're just going to click in the savings cell again it's going to be cell c19 come up here same thing dollar sign and that's it we're done so we've got our monthly income again reviewing here we've got our monthly income all of our monthly expenses and we have an idea of uh, what we're got what we have for savings but we're not done yet we have to figure out what we are going to do with the savings so in the next video we're going to go over how to allocate your savings so that you know where your money's going and this is going to help you plan your financial future a little bit better so thanks again so much for watching if you have questions or comments feel free to leave them down in the comment section below um, i'll try to get back to you if you have any questions um, like and subscribe do all that and again appreciate you watching the video thanks so much